as for the specifics of this ABC show, there was a lot of the show that was just false or or the so many facts that were so distorted that they were essentially made false. And so, I mean, I could spend a lot of time countering uh, all of that, but to what end? I, I don't. I don't really see a point. Uh, I. I mean, I can give an example. Um, uh, one of the things that one of the reporters mentioned was that my my mom would uh, do our homework, and that I would go into school, or Law would go into school, and we'd fail the test. And I think that it, that was said to make us seem like we were just evil kids that that you know had everything done for us or 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 whatnot. And yeah, that's simply that's that's simply not true. Um, you know, my, my mom would would help with homework sometimes. Uh, I don't know whether or not that's normal in households. Uh, uh, that you know that happened in, in in my house. I had tutors that I would go to. Sometimes my mom would help, and uh, and but I when we went to school, failing tests was not acceptable. Um, anything below a B average was not acceptable. My brother had a 4.0 average. Um, I had, you know, I didn't have a 4.0, I, I don't know whether it was a 3.5 or somewhere around there. Uh, but we had to maintain good grades while at the same time we we trained every single day after school, three to five hours a day, from, from right after school from three until six, seven, eight o'clock at night, and then we'd come home and do our homework. Um, there was no television seven, uh, seven days a week or, or five days a week. Uh, on the weekends was different, but um, you know, it was about it was about training in tennis and and about school and and so um, you know I think I think you can you can portray me you know the reality that I was uh, you know we were very wealthy and I was I was financially very spoiled and probably a brat in in a lot of ways and not distort the reality that. You know, we did work hard. Uh, my my dad did not pay fifty thousand dollars. One of the reporters said that my dad paid fifty thousand dollars to get Lyle into Princeton. That's just not true. Uh, you don't get into Princeton unless you have a four point oh average and very high SAT scores and work your butt off. Uh, and so it was, you know things like that. That was it was like you know you can you can say a lot of bad things about Lyle and I and not pile it on and. And and just uh, exaggerate um, the bad in order to you know to give the impression that we were very financially spoiled and uh, you know behaved reprehensible in a lot of ways. Um, there's just no no doubt that um, I did. I mean, there's no excuse for the burglaries. I mean, I've, uh, flat out, I cannot offer any. Any excuse for that terrible behavior, and I, I wish I could go back and, and change it. Uh, I, you know, I look back on you know what I was thinking, what I was doing, why I would do such such terrible thing, and um, you know I know I know what I was doing. I, I was trying to blow up this facade of this happy, successful household and make people question what was going on. And, uh, you know, instead, my dad covered it up, and I should have gone to juvenile hall for that behavior. Most of the kids in the country would have, and I and I didn't, and I should have. And um, probably things would have ended up a lot better had I uh, had to accept uh, full responsibility and, and face the punishment that I should have I should have had for for doing that. Um, you know, when it comes to the screenplay, a lot of a lot is a lot is made of this of the screenplay of, uh, that that I wrote with with Craig Signorelli, and um, you know, I think what one of the things that people are missing is that this was not a screenplay of, of a plot to, to, that eventually became murder. Uh, I I gave the screenplay to my mom and my dad to read and to look at uh, and to give me feedback on. I I handed it to them and. You know, one of the one of the reasons that I did was one, I wanted approval. Uh, you know, hey, I'm doing this extra uh, stuff and, and doing, you know, 
my dad was in the movie industry, so I, I wanted him to, to feel like I, you know, I'm, I'm a good son. But at the same time, you know, I gave it to them because I wanted them to say, hey, wh- why would you write this? What's going on? What The burglaries, what's going on with this? And, and have this, you know, have this kind of, not a blow up, but have, I needed to jar things up because everything was spiraling down and collapsing into chaos, and um, and and it was just a nightmare. So, you know, I I I can't say anything else that I am extremely ashamed at. Uh, you know, uh, what a screwed up teenager I was. You know, I lost my way. I lost my path. And I ended up turning the whole world to ash around me. And I am sorry. And I can never say I am sorry enough. Um, But I want you guys to know that that I am really grateful for every one of you that believe in me, uh, that believe that people can mature and change and for all of you who, who believe in the person that I have become today. So it's very meaningful for me to receive letters. It's touching, and uh, it inspires me. Um, and even though I can't write, you know, I can't write everyone back. I just can't do it. Um, it's, uh, it, it, it touches me. And so the stories are touching. So um, in, in future audios, I'd like to talk about um, some of the things that I'm doing today and, and who I am today. Um, that might bore you. Uh, maybe that's not going to be as interesting as, you know, you know, what my favorite movie is, but it's more meaningful to me. And it's for the, some of the things that I would like to talk about. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, but I will end this now. So I wish all of you a happy holidays and until next time, thanks for listening. All right, bye-bye.